Hello everybody and welcome back to Wallflowers. My name is of course Constantine and we are back into the city full time here. As uh, in the previous episode we actually made it full time. Now as you guys can see we don't really have uh, anything that we added other than flowers for the bees over here. Uh, I am planning on making this full for, uh, for the flowers. This whole place is going to have to be only for the flowers and the bees. That's all I want to have in here. First, let me water down everything. Uh, let me also water down this flower. Oh, actually, I don't want to place anything there. I just want to flower, water down this spot. There we go. Unfortunately, I don't have anything else that I got to plant in here, so I'm not going to put anything in there just yet. I did have to make my way to the shop, of course, to try to get me more seeds uh, for the fall time. But we don't really have any of that. Uh, next up, let me feed up my chickens here. <laughs> Man, these chickens are amazing. I cannot wait to actually get uh, everything done in the game so that we can have the cows, the sheep, and everything that we need. Alright, look at these small guys. I wish they could actually put some of the food down and uh, you could feed both of them at the same time, but apparently that is not a thing. <laughs> the way we're just touching its head. Love it. Hold up, little one. Come here, buddy. Stop running away from me. Alright, let's also uh, pet it a little bit. And we should be all good with the farm for now. Alright, so if you guys remember from the previous episode, uh, we now have actually the ability to get ourselves something that's going to water down everything in our farm automatically. And we don't have to do that anymore. And also collect stuff, I'm pretty sure about it. Uh, that is kind of something I want to focus on doing in the next episodes here. Just because I feel like we most definitely need to have that. So if I go into the missions, uh, in order to do uh, the... Try to giving this a whirl, we're going to need um, quite a lot of copper and... Iron. And of course, in order to get those, we are going to have to make our way inside the mines to keep on digging. So, before I focus on doing anything else, uh, actually, hold up. It is 10 a.m., which means uh, we might have some shop opening up at the moment. So, hold up. Can I now run faster? Yes, we can. I noticed that we was running the time so, for so slow. slow has passed. But, uh, not anymore. This is definitely one of my favorite potions for sure the boost that allows us to run fast. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Alright, so first of all, let me get myself a lot of this iron. Not sure exactly how much we can get because it is going to cost quite a bit of, of course. Alright, we got that. Let's also get some silver over here. And we're running out of money. <laughs> That's fine. There we go. Right, so now we should have enough to get... Uh, actually, no, we just need one more gold and, of course, 5,000 coins in order to do this one. But uh, for now, we should be all good. All right, perfect. I think we have everything that we need now in order to get uh, the automation system working. So let me see how we can get that going. Bring the iron, copper, and silver to the Zephyr. Okay, let's just go ahead and do that then because I feel like he, he is going to take a, a couple of days maybe until he's going to be done with uh, building whatever he wants to build. So, let's see what we can do here. Hey, Zephyr. There's a stuff I requested, buddy. Do you have the items we need to make yes, your first morally gig? Yes, yes here we they do. are. Great! <sighs> Come back tomorrow, and I'll have Ooh, it Tomorrow? Right. That is pretty fast. I was actually expecting him to uh, need me to come back at a later date. But look at that. We got a new mission for this fella. So, how? Were you planning on letting me believe that you lived in milk water? Well, it's what the residents of Fairhaven <laughs> have always assumed, so I just went with it. Is it strange living among the Fae? Since you were born human. Yes. I still feel like I have a lot to learn about Fae customs and rules. I do miss having low-stakes human conversations sometimes. But I'd rather avoid going to town if it's not necessary. Alright, just come by in the daytime. You should just come by during the day. You won't have to worry about transforming into your wolfy self then. That's true. I'll think about it. I mean, it. we have seen him during the daytime, right? So. But I see a lot yeah, I definitely remember seeing here. him sitting I on a bench. I hope you decide to stay on. And come visit us in Ravenwood Hollow whenever you need anything. Bye, buddy. There we go. Relationship increased. Awesome. Uh, let me check. Actually, Amira is not here. I know I've seen her, but I guess... Oh, no. She's right here, actually. Unfortunately, we don't have any missions uh, that we got to do with there. So, uh, with that being said, then, 
Let me just make my way inside the mines just to consume our energy as we do have to wait one day, right? Until uh, our automation system is going to be complete. Here, kitty, kitty. Now, you wanna, now, you know what I want to try? Let me just switch to the kitty cat here. You that swim, run, or fly, please let me travel in your mind's eye. No way. Look at that. We're playing as a cat. I'm absolutely loving this. Whoa, we're able to catch... Seriously, we're able to catch fish that easy with a cat? Oh my god, there's absolutely no point in fishing then. Absolutely no more point in fishing. And you can also collect stuff with her. What? Dude, having a cat is just so good. I had no idea. But of course, you have to have the potions, right? If you want to activate the cat. Um, so yeah, you can always do it if you want it. Let me just go ahead and collect everything that I can. And of course, I am going to keep on doing some more fishing right here. Uh, we cannot fish down there, of course. But I'm going to try to catch me as many fish as I can with a cat. Because it is apparently so easy to do. Uh, if I'm going to find some more fish right here, I guess. Wait, are they not spawn? No, never mind. <laughs> I thought for a second they did not spawn because I was a cat. That would have been annoying. All right, look at that. So many fishies. Uh, and I'm also going to try to go all the way to... Oh, actually, hold up. Aren't there any fishing spots here? I'm also going to try to go all the way to the lake uh, in the forest. Just because we may be able to catch some fishes over there as well at it. Come on, little kitty. <laughs> oh my god, this is just so good. Having the cat and running around like this. I love it. Absolutely love this. I don't know, but it does feel like we're running. Oh, you can grab the crickets with the cat. So I'm guessing the crabs as well you can only grab with the cat. Are you kidding me? Interesting. Right, look at that. Another cricket. Huh. Okay, well, uh, that makes sense now. That totally makes sense. All right, let me grab those fishies. Perfect. And while we're at it, let me also skip as I'm going to go all the way back to uh, the beach. Because I want to see if I can also catch me some of those uh, crabs with the cats. All right, next up, let me see if I can actually catch me some of those crabs. I did walk by a few of them, but I didn't know that I could actually interact with them. Since uh, that was not possible previously. And yes, that is correct. You cannot really interact with the crabs. That's fine, because we still have more fishes around here that we can collect. And look at that. This is just so easy to fish now. We're going to be grabbing so many fishies. Just imagine how rich you can actually get by simply selling all the fishes that you're grabbing with the cats. This is crazy. What? Are you kidding me, buddy? That is just so good. Uh, of course, we cannot catch those, and I'm pretty sure you cannot catch them from the top either. Hmm. Interesting. All right, in that case, uh, can I switch back to... Not the cat? <laughs> All right, we cannot grab that, but uh, we do have a few more fishes over here we can grab. Are you kidding me? Look at that. So many fishies. What? I'm definitely going to keep on trying to cut, transform into the kitty cat here as many times as I can, for sure. All right, uh, in, the, in the same time, let me go to relax mode. Just because time is passing by quite fast. Uh, I don't know how to exit. Hmm... I don't know how to exit the cat form, though. Don't even know how to do that. But I do want to try to go inside the mines and uh, keep on digging a little bit. Alright, let's see here. Can we go inside the mines with the cat? Oh, we can! Huh. 20. Whoa, hold on a minute. What is this? So, uh, apparently Cave 20 is much bigger. Interesting. Look at how beautiful this looks. And you can also fish in here. And of course, because we got a cat, look at that. We got a brand new one, a loach. A common, ca a common catch, sell it to Bruno or cook with it. Hmm. Uh, there's another one here. There we go, we got another loach. And there might be another one here. No, there... Oh, there is a Grotto Sculpin. What? 
Oh my god, I love it. We definitely have to come with the cat inside level 20 here for sure. Uh, to keep on catching some of these uh, fishies. Now, how do I exit the cat? That's what I'm uh, trying to figure out right now. Um. Okay. How do I exit the cat? Alright, let me see if I can get some sleep. If not, then I gotta figure out how to exit the cat. <laughs> I love that the cat can also jump. That is so cool. Should I go to sleep? I will wake up in my human ah, form. Ah, okay. So if you'd want to escape the form of the cat, you gotta go to sleep. I get it now. Interesting. So I'm gonna be guessing, uh, before you go into the cat form, you gotta finish uh, your energy first and then jump into the cat form. Alright, uh, in that case, let me make me one more of these potions. Let me... No, let me grab me this potion here and make another one. There we go. Uh, let's see what else. So the dirt is still growing. I still don't have the seeds that I need. But I do have to water down the flowers here. The reason I'm not getting any honey anymore is because the flowers are not growing as fast. So let me try to water them down as much as possible. These ones down as well. And right over here as well. Alright, perfect. Uh, now, before I'm going to be doing anything else, let me actually make my way right in here inside the mine. And get rid of all my energy. Hopefully we can find the next level after 20. Let's just see. The great thing about my pickaxe is that it's now going through stuff like with just one blow, which is amazing. I love it. I definitely have to get the axe at the same level as well, for sure. It is just so good to have it like this. Did we just find a diamond? Hold on a minute, look at that! Now, what I'm seeing is that we are unable to find any more keys. Uh, hmm. Does that mean that we can no longer go to a different level? A hard sparkling gem can be uh, crafted into a jewelry or used as a magical ingredient. Interesting. So yeah, I just noticed there's no more doors in here. So maybe level 20 is the last level. What's inside? I can't... Right, let's just see what the chest is gonna give us then. New recipes, awesome. Huh. That is interesting. So apparently, we have reached the final uh, spot in the cave. Which I was not expecting. I was actually looking for a key here, thinking that I would be able to find the key. But uh, that is not going to happen anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Well, uh, I'm actually quite happy that we managed to find uh, the final level in the mines. Uh, definitely did not want to look in the mines anymore. Now, before I'm going to do anything, let me actually... Hold up. No, no. I don't want to interact with the cat just yet. I got to feed my chickens. I have completely forgot about you guys. We gotta feed these little ones every single day if you want them to grow, so they can give us uh, more and more eggs. I mean, look at that chicken in the back there. <laughs> she looks awesome. Oh, we got two of the uh, big chickens and two of the small ones. Or actually, no, that was just an egg. Yeah, we got two of the uh, grown-up ones. That is perfect. Here you go, little one. All right, let me also feed this one up. And also a little bit of affection. And we should be done. Uh, I think by mistake we should also have one more egg inside here. So I should go ahead and check uh, for that one. But uh, yeah, I just can't see it anywhere. Let me just take... Uh, never mind. I want to take down that tree, but I can't do it right now. That's fine. That is fine. All right, in that case, um, before I'm going to be doing anything else, you know what I got to do? I got to go and see if this fella has finished up my device. Um... Man, 440 coins for 5 of these? Are you kidding me? These are pretty expensive to do, though. I'm going to accept it. As for this one, I won't cancel it because I cannot really do it. And let me see if this fella has finished up my device. Is my whirly gig done? Yep, here it is. Whoa, is that a bot? Are you kidding me? 
Um, what? it doesn't do much. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I, I haven't powered it yet, silly. I'll deliver the whirly gig to your home free of charge. Here we go. But you'll need a powered gem like this one to power it. Now this baby ah, will do we a already have one job, power sapphire. That's great. Different gems can hold different charges. Uh, if you bring more, I can charge them so you can replace this one when it runs out. I can also make other kinds of whirly gigs for different tasks. Mm, but won't my neighbors notice that I have a magical device watering my crops for me? If anyone asks, just say you imported it from <laughs> Europe. And people will believe me? Yeah. How else do you think Hazel ran the farm on her own all those oh, years? Oh, God. Now, hold up. The question is, how am I going to get my hands on those uh, power gems, though? I mean, we do have a few of them, right? If I go into the inventory here, you guys can see my power gems. We have one, two, three, four, five of them. But how do I make them? That's kind of my question. Because, of course, we can find some gems, right, in the mines. But how do you power them? Hmm. Where am I supposed to buy them from him? You twice blasted oh yeah, I think he's gonna show me now how to electrocute yourself? power yes. them up. Again. Oh, I was fiddling with these wires, but it, it's so dang hard to get an electrical charge reading without my Versorium. Versorium. So, pss, pss, over and over. <laughs> Sorry, without your what now? My Versorium. It's an incantation-powered device that detects electric charges. I use it for everything. Charge up wires with magical energy and you've got dangerous currents on your hands. Except I haven't seen the Versorium since I last went into the mines. So you lost it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Classic Zephyr. <laughs> um, hey, uh, if you see a little metal box covered in runes down there, uh, yeah, could you pick it up? Sure. As long as it doesn't spark my fingers off. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I gotta go looking for this box somewhere in the mines. Hmm. And maybe that's gonna be how I'm gonna power down, uh, power up, actually, all my... Uh, all my emeralds. Uh, but in the meantime, let me jump into the cat here. First of all... Give it a little affection. Listen to that purr. Just like that. Uh, next. Oh wait, can I use? Uh, I cannot grab the cat anymore because, of course, we don't have the potion. So I will have to make another one of those potions. But look at this fella. Are you kidding me, buddy? Okay, so we can actually give him. Ah, so this one lasts for five days. Hey, planty. Water some plants for me today. There we go. He's going to do his job. Awesome. Well, well, while he does that then, let me make my way to the shop because I want to get myself um quite a bit of those seeds, right? I don't know if I'm going to have enough money though, so I may need to sell some stuff here first. So let me see if I can get some money by simply selling, uh, I guess, a bunch of these. Oh no, I don't want to make them. I want to sell them all. Sell these and sell... These as well. And at the same time, I think I'm going to go on and sell about 100 of these as well. Just to get 100 coins. We're not really using that much rock. Alright, there we go. We got rid of that. And now, we should have enough money to buy some seeds. Hopefully, the shop is open. It is? Awesome. Alright. Uh, let's see what we can buy. So, um, hmm, we actually have quite a lot of seeds. Pumpkins. Let's buy three pumpkins. Uh, three fennel seeds, three cabbages, and of course, grape as well. And other than this, um, we don't really have any more seeds that we can buy. Can I sell some stuff, I wonder? It does like we can sell some stuff. Wait, what? Oh no, this is how you buy this stuff, and this is the first stuff that we gotta sell. Yeah, uh, let's actually sell of these eight of them oh we only have eight of them never mind in that case let me sell maybe some of these uh, maybe a little bit of corn maybe a little bit of actually i think i know who needs mulberry so i'm not gonna get rid of the mulberry um let's get rid of some of these some of these over here some eggs as well Alright, and we should be all good. There we go. Got myself some seeds. Um, let's see what else we got for today. I think... Uh, ooh, she's got a mission for me. Hold up. Let's see what this you is. You look upset. Is something wrong? I lost my sheet music. It's a disaster. 
Francis asked me to play a song for his wedding, and I have to practice. When was the last time you saw it? Uh, I practiced when I was babysitting the twins, um, after they'd gone to sleep. Maybe Emmy and Finn know something? I if you see the sheet music, will you tell me? You better believe I will become the best sheet music detective. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. All right, so we got to find uh, two of these, apparently. Uh, Juliet's sheet music is missing. Find out of uh, find out if Emmy and Finn know anything. Hmm. Hopefully those guys didn't uh, stole for her. Uh, let me talk with this buddy about, I guess, the wedding first. I guess first. I don't have to ask who you're voting for in the or election. Or the voting. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, right. Well, my boy does the best job he can. I know it's not easy. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, what about buying some stuff for me? Because we got so many fishies. Look at that. So now we can go out and sell this one to him. This one as well. Are you kidding me? We can sell so much stuff. Two of these. One of these. Look at that. Soft and Sons Fish and Tackle. Of course, we gotta, fish, we gotta keep on selling quite a lot of stuff in order to unlock uh, all these ones here. But uh, I don't mind it. I love this. All right, buddy, uh, I think we should be done with this. Let me see if I have any missions that we got to do here. Of course, I got to give some uh, feathers to Ariel, which I will try to do very soon. Um, I think that's about it, yeah. All right, let me see if the kids know anything about... You did not seriously offer honey to Thomas. He ordered pancakes. We were out of maple syrup. What was I supposed to do? He hates large-scale honey farming. Says honeybees don't pollinate as well as wild bees like bumblebees. They're more susceptible to colony collapse, yada, yada, yada. I can't believe he didn't give you a whole lecture. He must be sweet on you. <laughs> and not just for your pancakes. Uh, Sophia should date Thomas. Violet's right. I think Thomas likes you, Sophia. You should go on a date with him. Oh. My, uh, I am not ready for dating yet. Thomas and I are just old friends, and I'm happy to keep it that way. Violet, you should leave the matchmaking to the professionals. <laughs> All right, never mind. I'm worried, Tara. Sophia holds Giacomo on such a pedestal. I'm afraid she'll never let herself get close to anyone else. We'll help her, Violet. She just has to move on in her own time. <sighs> I hope you're right. All right, awesome. Increase our relationship a little bit. Now, what I want to do here, uh, I think I want to get myself one more flower if that is possible. Yeah, one more flower seeds. That's all I want. Uh, next up, let me see what I got to do next. I really want to start building my, uh, my place up a little bit, but uh, I think I'm going to have to get more coins. As uh, we definitely don't have enough at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I think that is kind of everything that I can collect around here. I don't see the kids, though. Because I really want to talk with them about those sheets. Uh, let me go to the uh, playground then and see if they're going to be there. Maybe they're going to give me like uh, a little bit of a hint where I can find it. Alright, kids. Hopefully they didn't hide it. They're not as cool, of course. Um, hmm. Where can I find them? Let me grab this one for... Wait, what? Too many missions. Take it. Hmm. And also, this guy's gonna give me a lot of money, though. You know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, first of all, cancel this mission. And this one as well. And let me grab these two missions. All right, perfect. Ooh, what are you guys doing? Tara, just the person I was hoping to see. Do you have milk and eggs to spare? Only Aren't eggs. Are those essential ingredients for bakers? <laughs> well, yes, but I wanted to make marmalade pudding for the rehearsal dinner, and it's best with fresh ingredients. Mmm, marmalade pudding. Sounds British. Uh, excuse you. <laughs> it's a classic Scottish dessert. My gran taught me her own recipe. Help me out, and I'll make an extra pudding just for you. All right, buddy. Uh, so I also need one milk. I don't really have the milk, but hopefully I will get my hands on it eventually. Hi there, fellow farmer. You may have heard that I've thrown my hat into the ring for the mayoral election. I hope you're ready to build the new fair haven of the future. I do seem to build most of the things around here. That's the spirit. <laughs> All right, buddy. I don't know if I'm going to vote for you, though. I'm, I'm not really sure. Hi, Francis. 
What you working on? Oh, I'm restoring a necklace that used to belong to my abuela. She left the necklace to my sister, but the clasp is broken. I'm fixing it up to surprise her. My sister and I don't talk that much, but maybe the necklace will remind her that I'm here for her. Anyway, I love working with vintage pieces like this. They have such unique details. Angus always says that I should have been born in an era where people still cared about the little things. All right, I appreciate them too. Fairhaven feels like the past. I feel simply, uh, I prefer simplicity. Let's go with, I appreciate them too. I've been appreciating the old details that my grandpa worked into the farmhouse. Like, little flourishes on a table. Oh, your farmhouse is so classic. It's like a fairy tale cottage. <laughs> my abuela lived with my family until she passed away. In my family, caring for your elders is really important. I respect that you came back here to be with Hazel. I'm sure it wasn't an easy choice. All right, perfect. Mission completed. Now, uh, let's see what I'm supposed to do next. I think what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to make my way all the way back home uh, so I can start planting some uh, seeds because we did get ourselves quite a few seeds, right? And I want the robots to start watering them, uh, to start watering them out. Uh, now, let me see here. If I go to this side, look at that. He's already watering stuff, although there's nothing in them. Oh, no strength. I'm Wait, what? No, 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 no. You're not gonna get away like that. You are gonna have to uh, drink up a little bit of that and eat up a little bit of that. There we go. Now we got energy. All right, let's go with pumpkin. Another pumpkin. All right, let's go with cabbage. And another cabbage. All right, for this one, we're gonna go with this. And I guess another one. There we go. For this one, we're gonna plant one more pumpkin. One more cabbage in here. And uh, let me actually make more plots. So let's go with this and this. All right, how we wanna get this one to look? I mean, I could just get everything. You know what? Yeah, let's just go on with that. Um, let me also move things around just like that. You don't need them. You do, you definitely don't need to have a space between them because you can definitely go back and forth behind them. Uh, let's also build. One here, and one right over here. There we go, awesome, okay. This one's gonna have uh, that. And all the rest of them now are just gonna have grapes. There we go, buddy, that is what I wanted. Now, why is this guy not watering down stuff? Come on, buddy. Am I supposed to water down stuff for you? The heck? <laughs> Why are you so slow? <laughs> he kind of got stuck there. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. But uh, I think uh, maybe it's because I just placed these ones and uh, he doesn't know what's happening. So I'm going to water down for now. But hopefully tomorrow he's going to do his job. Or else I'm not going to waste uh, making any more of those power uh, thingies. All right. There we go. Everything has been watered down. Let me collect this. Plant more dirt. And this one right over here. All right, awesome. All right, uh, as for this side, of course, we do need to plant another flower that we just got. Hopefully these things are gonna grow much, much faster. Uh, let me see for the worms. Could I maybe get these worms? Start making more silk as we can. There we go, perfect. Uh, we'll add it, I'm gonna put, actually I don't have the potion that we need, Never mind. All right, for building though, I cannot really build anything in here unless I just make me one of these, but I don't think I need it now. Nah. I think I'm good, I think I'm good. All right, let's see what potions we can create then. So, one potion that I wanna make is of course the shape shifting one, so I can turn into a cat again. Uh, the one for speed, we definitely need that. And... I mean, I think that's about it, for now at least. You know what, let me also make a golden one. 
just because I might need one eventually. All right, perfect. And now that we have enough energy, uh, of course, I'm not going to go into the cat just yet as I'm going to go inside the mines and keep on looking for that box. And since I am going into the mines, of course, why not also start digging inside here and uh, get me more resources as well. Now, let's see if we can find the box. I would be expecting us to find the box somewhere at the uh, level 20, of course. But at the same time, it could also be somewhere else, I guess. I don't think it's mandatory for it to be only in level 20. Alright, and I think if I'm not mistaken, I just noticed the box. Is this the box right here on the table? Oh, it's not. It definitely looks like the box that we gotta find. Yeah, look at that. But this one is uh, different. This one is a Versorium. So maybe this is gonna be a box, but not the one that I'm looking for. So unfortunately, it is not in uh, cave number 20. Uh, let me keep on looking, I guess, on other caves as well. Let's go with, I guess, 19. Hmm. I'm curious where I'm going to be able to find this one, though. Okay, another one of those boxes, of course, but not the Versonium one. Uh, I wonder if it's also going to be on the table or simply lying on the floor. Now, if I go here, uh, retrieve Zephyr's Versorium from somewhere in the mine. Hmm. Interesting. It is, of course, not going to give us any clues or anything, so we are going to have to uh, just try to guess. Ooh, there we go! Is this the one? It is! The Versorium! Awesome! That is what we needed. Alright, let me go back to Zephyr then. That was definitely worth it. Uh, in the meantime, I think I'm also going to try to get myself quite a bit of wood as well while we're at it. Uh, just because we are going to have to spend a bit of wood in order to make the ranch as well. There we go. Perfect. And let me try to grab all the wood that we can from this side. And unfortunately, I cannot do anything because uh, I'm out of energy. Alright, so let me make my way to Zephyr. Let's see what this guy has in store for us. I'm pretty sure that he is now going to make me the... Uh, the power gems. Hey, buddy. I got your Versorium. My Versorium! <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'll mention it. I can't believe you kept experimenting this whole time without it. Ah, goblins build up resistance to electrical shocks over time. Oh, but the big current still make me sit straight up, I'll tell you <laughs> what. <laughs> I appreciate you giving me a hand. All right, there we go. We got it. And now, we've been rewarded with a power up. Ah, increased energy spell. Yes, please. There we go. Thomas binds my body tightly. Awaken me and make me tightly. Awesome. We are now going to be able to uh, do more stuff. And not only that it increased it, but it also uh, made it full again. Awesome. What can I buy from this fellow, though? Oh, I knew it. So he's the one that's going to give us the gems. And by the looks of it... What the heck? He has multiple bots. Livestock. We're, oh, so he's going to have one that's going to take care of the livestock. Uh, he's going to have one that's going to fish for us. What? One that's going to be bringing us wood. And one that's going to be bringing us mine. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? Wow. We most definitely need this kind of stuff. And while we're at it, I'm also going to make some gems. Why not? Apparently, I gotta make that uh, glowing powder. Hmm. All right, let me make one of these and another one of these. Because once I'm gonna have these bots, I'm definitely gonna get them to work. Now, I wonder, what is this thing here that it's locked? Oh, you know what? That one kind of looks like a broom, like maybe like a special broom that we don't have at the moment. But at least now we know who's gonna sell that stuff for us, which is great. All right, in that case, let me make my way back home. Uh, I'm not going to turn into a cat because I still have so much more energy that I got to waste. Uh, let me make my way over here for a second. Do I want to come here? I don't remember. Oh, I want to make uh, these ones. All right, so I'm going to have to have three of those for a mission. Uh, at the same time, let me see what other potions we can create here. Another one of those. Uh, I think I'm also going to need a few more of these bone ones. And maybe a little bit of that. Also a little bit of flour. 
And I think uh, this is also where we can do this. The one that we saw, the crystal uh, stuff, I guess. But I'm not quite sure exactly how to... What to use to make that, though. Right, anyway, uh, that is completed. Let's see what else we can do today. Since we have so much energy, we definitely have to spend it on something. And I think I'm actually going to start spending it on a few more trees. Why the heck not? All right, there we go. I got myself quite a lot of wood. And next what I want to do, I also want to start building me more of these things. Um... But of course, I'm going to have to have a little bit of spacing there. Let's go on with that. Uh, I don't have any more seeds, so I am going to have to uh, get my hands on a few. Um, hmm. Let's do that. And that over here. This is kind of in the way, but that's fine. <laughs> Right, and another one. Oh, I cannot build anymore. I don't have any more dirt. That is fine. I love how this bot, though, is watering down everything. That is exactly what I wanted to have here. And if I go on and put this one on this spot, Come on, buddy. Hold up. There we go. Close that up. All right, and lastly, I want to go ahead and buy me more seeds, of course. Oh, wait, the store is closed. What the heck? Why is the store closed at this hour? Dang it. Well, I guess we're going to have to come back here tomorrow. But for now, let me just check with these kids and see if they took the notes. If I asked you about Juliet's sheet music, you would say... <laughs> <laughs> what they does that definitely silence did mean? Something. That I have nothing to say. Are you sure it didn't mysteriously <laughs> end up with your stuff? That's silly. Emmy... Silly. <laughs> Seriously? Maybe I gotta make like some sort of a potion that's gonna allow me to know what she's got to say about it. I don't even know. All right, let's see if I can find the other kid though. Uh, can I sell anything to the old man? Uh, ooh, I have something that I gotta give her. Here we go. You brought her I would. <laughs> All right. Take care of that situation. Uh, we got Patrick over there, but I'm not sure where the little guy is either. Hmm. Let me put one floor in here. Angus and Francis are getting married. I thought the idea of going to a wedding would make me sad, but I'm happy for them. All right. Awesome. Uh, where is that kid though? Hmm. Just can't see him anywhere. So he's not playing over here. He's not by that side. Where could he be? Where could he be? Maybe he's somewhere, um, I don't know, by the beach. I know it is a little bit late outside and uh, he might be going home at this hour. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. What's black, white, and lets you play cool tunes? Uh, cheat <laughs> music. Juliet's ring a bell. N no, <laughs> Ben. They're be definitely honest. lying. What? I, I didn't take it. Emmy okay. Did. I don't even know how I know that. I didn't <laughs> see her do it. And she'll be mad if she finds out I told. Don't worry. You did the right thing. I might have to step up my game. Maybe the coven knows of a magic solution it. to my problem. Right, so maybe you gotta make like a magic solution, a magic potion that would uh, reveal the truth. Hmm. Not even sure. Um, not sure if I can do anything. Can I maybe drink something? I wonder. Oh, we can grab some beer if you want to. Bye. <laughs> and we also got ourselves some uh, chips with that. Interesting. <sighs> when fall starts, it's pumpkin this and pumpkin that. But who cares when Oktoberfest is around the corner? <laughs> As Bruno can no doubt tell you, there's nothing like a good German Marzen beer. Gross. All right, buddy. Uh, yeah, nothing we can do over here for now. Uh, in that case, you know what? Let me just go uh, and finish up the energy that I have on me. Jump on the cat and grab more fishes, of course. Uh, 
since we do have the potion, right? Yeah, we definitely made the potion for the cat, for sure. Because I definitely have to get myself as many... Is that watering down everything? Yes, it is. Uh, as we definitely have to get ourselves as many fishes as we possibly can. All right, and now that we got no more energy, let me jump straight into the uh, cat over here. No, no. I want to jump into the cat. There we go. You that swim, run, or fly. Please let me travel in your mind's eye. Awesome. Love it. I absolutely love doing this. Grab that. All right, we got a stud fish. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to catch me some of the fishes that we didn't have before, though. That's another stud fish. Uh, what about in the forest? What can I collect from the forest? Uh, of course, we cannot grab the squirrel. I did get a pine cone. But I'm pretty sure you could have collected the pine cone with the character as well, not just the uh, the cat here. All right. Anyway, let me go back down then. And let me see if I can catch me more fishies. So, of course, no fishies spawn back in here just yet. But I will make my way all the way to the uh, ocean here at the bottom. And ultimately, of course, we are we are going to have to end up in the, in the mine. Because that's where we're going to be able to catch some really crazy looking fishies. Alright, no fishies there. From what I can remember, you can actually catch different type of fishies depending on the time of day, right? Right, and ultimately, let me just catch me the last fishies from over here. There we go, another loach. Awesome. And another one. And Oh, actually, no, the other one is the grotto. Awesome. These are some really cool fishies that you're able to catch inside the cave, though. I really wish you could actually go out and then back in again and they would spawn it. <laughs> but of course, that would be a glitch. Uh, something uh, the devs definitely don't want to take advantage of. Or never mind, they did spawn back in. What? Are you kidding me? Can I just keep on doing this until I grab me as many fish as I want or what? I wonder. I'll just try it again. I'm actually really curious if this is going to work again. It is! No way, dude. Look at that. We got another grotto. And another loach. And nothing on this side, though. I have a feeling the grotto here and the loach are going to be uh, the most expensive ones that I caught so far. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, let me just try for the last time. And look at that. Another loach. Another grotto. And another loach. Are you kidding me? This may be a really great way to make a lot of money. A ton of money in the game, actually. But, uh, yeah, look at that. This time, it is not spawning it anymore. <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, that is fine because we are going to have to go to sleep here and reset the day. Uh, I really wanted to go to the cavern so that we could get ourselves uh, a few more of those moonflowers. But that is not a possibility, unfortunately. Alright, we got another Mino. Perfect. And I think we might be able to get another one here. There we go. That is pretty cool. Alright, let's just get some sleep and reset the day then. Alright, there we have it. A brand new day has started. Uh, I want to see how my... My plants are growing. How everything is looking though. Alright, uh, let me also spend... Actually, this one is already making me six. This one is also making me six. Uh, we do have to water down some things here, but I'm not sure exactly what my body's doing. He's quite slow when, he's, when it comes to watering down stuff. He definitely has to move faster. Come on, buddy. What are you even doing? Oh, you know what? I think he just barely started watering down stuff, so uh, yeah, we sh he should be good. 
let me put this one here so it makes more. There we go. Uh, I think I actually don't have dirt because I wanted to make uh, the garden here a little bit bigger, uh, which unfortunately we cannot really do at the moment. I will let the bot water down everything. I don't want to really focus on doing that at the moment. But you know what, guys, I think it's going to be the end of this episode for now, and we'll come back in the next one. Uh, I think what I also want to try to do is maybe get myself another one of these. Yeah, for sure. We definitely want another one of these so that we have more bees showing up. Uh, just like that. And I guess I could place a few more right here. Mm, not sure if that's a good idea or not, though. Either that or another compost, I guess. I could place, like, right about here. Just like that. Or a tree. I don't know. Uh, for now, let's just get this one going. There we go. And that should be it. All right, look at that. The body's already started to water down the flowers. Perfect. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching another episode of uh, Wildflowers. If you all enjoy this and want to see more like this in the future, do make sure you hit on that like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new here as I'm also uh, petting the cat here, making sure he's going to give us a little bit of extra resources. And I think I will try every single night, uh, of course, if I do have the potions that I need, uh, to get myself as many fishes as possible and sell all of those uh, to Bruno because we definitely need to do that if I want to get myself a lot of money, right? As I really want to upgrade my axe and my other tools as well. But that being said, stay safe out there, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.